Let us look at this equation or simultaneous equation and try to solve this. So as I told you in my previous video, uh, there are different ways of solving simultaneous equations. So when I look at this equation, I'm looking at 4, 4x, 2y, and 6. Okay, so let me write equation 1. Also, let me call this equation A. So the first equation is 4x minus 2y is equal to 6. So I can divide all by 2. So let me write here in the bracket. So dividing by 2. When I'm saying dividing by 2, I have to divide each of them by 2. So dividing by 2, so I'm making half. So this is 2x minus y is equal to 3. You may wonder, can we do this like this? So let me write an a number equation. Whenever you struggle with algebra, the best way is to write up an equation of number. So any number, so let me make up a number, say an equation with numbers. Say 14 minus, uh, say 4 is 10. This is pretty simple, 14 take away. So what if I half all of them? So if you half 14, you get 7. If you half 4, you get 2. And if you half 10, you get 5. So can we write the equation? Yes, 7 minus 2 is 5. So this and this are equivalent statement. Okay, so this, though the equation has changed, uh, though the value of the equation has changed, the equation sign is maintained. That's what I mean. So yeah, I want to write this as y. So I'm going to bring or have y on, only on one side. So I'm going to take away 2x from this side. So I have to take away 2x from this side. And that's why maths is one of the best subjects, I would say, because it, it does uh, have justice. Whatever you do on one side, you have to do on the other side. And I love justice. And each one of you should love justice. Okay, so this is minus y is equal to, this is 3 minus 2x. Or let me write, that is 3 minus 2x is same as writing. Okay, let me write first 3 minus 2x. So I can say y, negative y is 3 minus 2x is same as minus 2x minus 2x plus 3. Okay. Now, how can I make this neg? I don't want this negative y. I don't want this negative y. So I'm going to multiply this whole thing, the whole thing by negative 1. So this, so I'm going to, if you multiply y times negative 1 is, so let me do that. So negative y times negative 1 is equal to, you're multiplying this by negative 1. So 2x times negative 1 plus 3 times negative 1. So whatever you do to all the all the terms of both sides is acceptable. So y times, negative y times y is, negative 1 is y. This becomes negative 2x times negative 1 is 2x, and 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. So this is one equation. So this whole thing process was to change this in the y form. I hope you can see what I'm aiming at. So this I call as equation A. So I've got this equation A. And this equation is, the second equation I can say is y is 2x minus 5. So can I say y is equal to 2x minus 5 is the next equation. Okay. It's an interesting equation here. Yeah? Okay, so this is the equation B. Okay, so what will happen now? So looking at A and B, A is in terms of Y. Y is equal to this, and equation B is also Y is equal to this. So well, I can say therefore, I can say this is the notation for therefore in maths. If this is Y is 2X minus 3 and Y is 2X minus 5, I can say 2X minus 3 is equal to 2x minus 5. Now you have to use your logic. Which number can come here? Yeah? So something, 2x is a number here. Yeah? 
and here also 2x. So 2x minus 3 is equal to 2x minus 4. Is it possible to get a number? You take any number here, yeah? the same number you have to take here, yeah? x. And uh, okay, so there's, it's not possible. Okay, so yeah, uh, there's no value of x. Okay, so how will I explain this? So this is, uh, let me add. So if you take away 2x from this side, what will happen? You have to take away 2x from this side. Okay, so yeah, this whole thing will become what? Negative 3 is equal to negative 5. Now this is not possible. This is not possible. So this equation, okay, so that's very interesting. Okay, so yeah. Uh, here basically what's happening is, when I explain this in graph, these two lines, if you draw the graph, okay, I think you can't understand this algebraically, but then also I'll try. Now if you draw the graph of this two equation, so let me explain this, try to explain. So you have got equation A and equation B. Equation A, okay, let me draw a sketch. Equation A was y is equal to 2x minus 3, and equation 2 was, okay, now let me draw that. So I'll show this on the calculator later on. So equation A was, would be somewhat like this. This is only a sketch. So these two lines are parallel lines. So this is, this is y is equal to uh, 2x minus 3. And this my this is your y-intercept. This is minus three here, and this is not drawn to scale, of course. This is negative five, and this is y is equal to two x minus five. So these two lines will never intersect. So you can't have any value, any common value for x and y. So here we can say, algebraically, we can say there is no solution. You can't find any common value of x and y which will satisfy both these equation. In a graphical way, this was a good example. I didn't realize that it will end up like this, but this is also a good revision for those who know how to graph uh, straight lines. These two lines are parallel. Okay, so these two lines are parallel and they will never intersect each other. So there is no solution for this pair of linear equations. So here we can say no solution or you can't find the values of x and y, which satisfies both these equations.